Oh, hello everyone. Today we are going to do an experiment on the mass transfer and diffusion unit. And the unit is used to determine the mass uh, diffusion coefficient. It's important in various uh, places because the diffusion coefficient reflects the mobility of the diffusion species in the given environment. And this course is subjected to final year students and it's considered that you, the students already have uh, some theoretical knowledge about mass transfer processes. Therefore, today we will ma mainly focus on the practical experiment. And the unit is, consists of two different sets of equipment, one for diffusion in liquid solutions and one for diffusion in gases. And let's firstly consider the diffusion in liquid solutions. Uh, the main parts of the The main part of the, this unit is the diffusion cell, which is U-tube, and which has a capillary disc on one end of it. And for the experiment, this diffusion cell is filled with salt solution, which will diffuse out of the solution through the capillaries. And the second component of this unit is the measuring flask. And this flask is, with, is filled with water, distilled water, Uh, then, uh, during the experiment, the salt ions will diffuse out of the salt solution into the water because we position the diffusion cell inside the water bath uh, in such a way that uh, the capillary disc is below the water level and is vertical. Therefore, and it, this, this arrangement means that uh, the salt solution is at the lower side of the capillary disc and the distillation water is at the upper end of the capillary disc. And this results the concentration gradient along the length of the capillary disc. As a result of the concentration gradient, the salt ions will diffuse through the capillaries. And of course, this will change the concentration of the distilled water around the capillary disc. And uh, the, to get the information about the number of the ions uh, which is diffused through the capillaries, we use conductivity meter. The conductivity of the wet water is constantly measured by the conductivity probe. And the water you see here is magnetic stirrer. The water is agitated by the magnetic stirrer constantly. Uh, to distribute uh, diffusing particles through the solution and it uh, give us exact uh, conductivity measurements and prevent uh, the local uh, concentration on the capillary disc. So now let's start an experiment with the help of, help of the, my student. Firstly, let's uh, measure the one liter of the distilled water. We already measured it. Uh, then we fill the uh, measuring flask by the 900 milliliter of the distilled water. Uh, then we should insert the conductivity probe, insert the measuring flask. Uh, then we have to fill the uh, diffusion cell with one molar salt solution. We already prepared the solution. And uh, we fill the uh, diffusion cell with the salt solution until the solution escapes from the capillary disc.
Uh, then we carefully wipe the excess uh, salt solution from the capillary tube. Now it's time to position the diffusion cell into the measuring flask in such a way that the upper edge of the capillary disc is above the water level, approximately five millimeter. Then we should add the rest of the water to the measuring flask without any swirling or turbulence. We can use glass rod or laboratory spoon for this. Now it's time to turn on the magnetic agitator at the adjusting knob and run it between three to five revolutions per unit of time. You see now magnetic stirrer is agitated the distilled water. Now the setup is ready for an experiment and the experiment is, begins immediately after the preparation step. And uh, for that, uh, we should uh, take the notes of the conductivity and the temperature inside the measuring flask. Now let's, and we repeat these measurements at each five minute time interval. Now, the conductivity is uh, 17 and the temperature at the measuring flask is 25.6 degrees Celsius. And we will repeat these measurements at each five minute interval. And of course, the, uh, gradually the salt ions will diffuse through the capillaries in, into the water and it will change the uh, concentration of the distilled water. So we will get the concentration change by measuring the conductivity of uh, the distilled water. Uh, the recommended time for this experiment is two hours. So my student will take the results. And at the same time, I will explain the diffusion in gases unit. Uh, the main components of this part are the diffusion capillary tube with the test liquid inside it. Then you see here the water bath, it's temperature controlled and electrically heated that keeps the temperature of the test liquid inside the capillary tube constant. And this is the heater that can be sti stick to the wall of the water bath. And there is a temperature sensor uh, which uh, measures and regulates the temperature of water inside the bath. And this is the 
float switch. This ensures that the heater can only be turned on when there is sufficient water inside the bath. And there is a uh, lens that can be movable vertically. And this allows the level of the liquid inside the uh, diffusion capillary uh, tube is measured. Then there is a scale on the lens that uh, can be helpful also to measure the level change inside the diffusion capillary tube by diffusion because there is a loss of test liquid during the experiment. So now let's start an experiment. First, let's uh, fill the water bath with water until the float switch is definitely connected uh, be be because without that, the heater cannot be turned on. Now let's turn on the unit by the main switch and uh, let's check the, if heater, temperature sensor and float switch is connected to the control controller and we see all of them is connected. Now let's preheat the water inside the bath. It's turning on the heater and we set the temperature by these buttons and for this experiment, the set temperature is 40 degrees Celsius, Celsius and we already set them. And in, in order to prevent the test liquid from boiling, it's, uh, we have to avoid uh, temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. And now let's fill the diffusion capillary cell with acetone. until the acetone level, until the distance between the acetone level and the lower edge of the T-piece is approximately 40 millimeter. Now let's position the diffusion capillary tube inside the water bath in such a way uh, it's uh, exposed to the temperature of the water bath. Now we're waiting the our set temperature have been reached and the temperature of the acetone is also exposed to the temperature of the water bath. Now it's time to turn on the air pump on the controller. The constant air flow moves through the horizontal tube on the diffusion capillary tube. Uh, then firstly, we have to uh, adjust the movable microscope and uh, set it to zero. Uh, firstly, we need to adjust the movable microscope and set to zero point, uh, the level of the acetone. Now it's ready and after each 10 minutes we will repeat the measurements and we will take the level change of acetone uh, by diffusion each uh, 10 minutes. And there is a, you see, scale on the 
movable microscope, we will uh, relate this uh, level change by our zero point, and we will find the level change during the experiment. Now we are done with the experiment. Uh, we took the results in each 10 minute interval, and now we have all of the results uh, for calculations of diffusion coefficient. You know our aim is the experiments is to find the diffusion coefficient. And today we demonstrated steady state diffusion by uh, using constant concentration gradient. Uh, in this case, this is achieved by using sufficiently large sink for the diffusible ions. You see here the, a large volume of water compared to the concentrated cell solution. And of course, this one is also steady state diffusion because you see here uh, an unlimited amount of, way, unlimited amount of uh, air available. So uh, by constant uh, concentration gradient, we achieved uh, steady state diffusion. And you know the fixed first law is valid for steady state diffusion and uh, we will use appropriate equations uh, in order to find diffusion coefficient from our experiment results. See you next lesson.